Moo, Moo, I just filled up your bucket over there. Can I have this? Moo, can I have, Moo? Moo, I filled up your whole trough. Give me my bucket back. Cornholio sees me getting ready to come into the pasture and he is telling these geese already Remember we control the pasture. You are not gonna mess with Jake today. Good job Cornholio. I don't know why I don't know why he's been doing that for real. Look he's just he just hurting them around in all kind of whatever direction he wants them to go He's hurting them around <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny Here comes Tina to join in on some action Okay, guys, golly, I'm sorry. Whoa, 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 I'm sorry. I will get y'all fed now, okay? Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Look at them all just looking at me like, hello. Hurry up. We're hungry. All right, I'm coming. Come on, goats. All right, stop one. There we go. All right, stop number two. There we go. Wait, hey, hey, watch out. You're going to make me fall. You're going to make me fall. Okay, back up. Stop coming on, goats. Stop coming on, goats. We've got to get this food put out. Look at how I'm having to do this. This is the only way to keep them from ripping this bucket out of my hand. And it's a lot more handy to pour this way than it is trying to flip the bucket with one hand. Excuse me, Brady. Excuse hey hey Newton. Golly, these guys will try to attack you if you don't pour out the food fast enough. That's what I don't understand about our goats, because whenever I do Hold on. Oh my gosh, why? They're coming after me. Whenever I watch Daniel Arms and everybody feed their goats. They never like rip the bucket out of their hands or anything. They'll just line up all nice and proper how they're supposed to do. Our goats, if you don't give them the food, they'll definitely take the food. That's, that's not cool, goats. Not cool. Y'all better stop. Y'all stop it. Y'all better stop. I got Cornholio over here. If you don't get away from my bucket, you're going back to jail. Thank you, Leonard. Thank you. Whoa! Hold on. I wasn't ready for y'all. Cornholio, get him out of here. Get him out of here, Cornholio. Good job, buddy. Cornholio, they're coming after me again. All right. That is awesome that Cornholio guards this pasture for me and allows me to walk through without anybody messing with me. Except for Lenny. Lenny, please stop trying to rip this food out of my... Lenny? Lenny? Lenny, stop it. You're not going to get anything. I'm gonna put you in jail. I'll put you in jail, Leonard. There we go. Yeah, I think I like the over the shoulder method better. This is kinda, hey, watch out, golly. Almost stepped on you. Hello, Ringo. Are you being a good boy? Probably not. Trudy, you're about to have some oatmeal, baby. I guess you could eat that first, though. All right, this is gonna be the mother load pile. Just for you, Lenny. Since you seem to just like, you can't wait for anything. I figured you're probably that hungry to, hey, excuse me. See, Lenny, now you're not even getting it. And Trudy's standing on two piles at once. Trudy is guarding two piles at once. One with her mouth and one with her back feet. Here, here, you wanna rip the bucket out? Just go, look at it. Go ahead and, yeah, see, there's nothing in there. Now you can get back to going after your regular grains. Thank you. Do you, you see? There's still nothing in there. There's still nothing in there. Thank you, everybody. Well, I mean, I guess you're welcome for the food. Please behave. Whoa, Ernie, be careful. You almost ran over everybody, Ernest. You got a little something on your face. Uh, that's all right. Lenny, I already showed you. There's nothing in this bucket. Bye, guys. Have a great day. Newton. Poor Newton. Are you so hungry? Are you so hungry, Newton? Okay. Okay. All right. I'm getting your oatmeal, buddy. It's okay, Newton. I'll get it. I need you to calm down. Newton.
10. Newton, it's not that big of a deal. It's not, Copper, don't you ram me in the butt. Why'd you just ram me for? Huh? Don't make me sick cornholio on you. Don't make me do it, Copper. Be sweet to me. You understand? There's no need for all that. Get him, Cornholio. Whoa, Copper. Goodness gracious. You do not wipe off my pets. If I pet you, you keep them on there. Thank you. All right, let's get your food. Why didn't y'all just go eat grains like Trudy? That's why she's not over here yelling. Well, you should have went over there. You're usually over there. I don't know why you chose to stay over here today. See how good Pecky Pig is just patiently waiting for her food? She's not causing a ruckus. She's not freaking out. Oh, wait. I'm sorry, pigs. I got to feed these ostriches first before the goats come back. Hello, little Tina, you little baby. Hello. Oh, fine, Tina. I didn't want to pet you anyway. Okay, I really did. Come on, just let me touch your tail. Let me touch your tail or something. Come on, Tina. That's not very nice. Whatever. Copper, how am I going to get out of the gate with you laying there? <laughs> He's huge. Copper, how am I going to ever... Oh, he got the he got the gate so tight I can't even get the chain off. Copper, Copper, please move. Oh, yeah, I can just walk this way. <laughs> All right, but Copper, I can't shut it, and this goat's going to get out. Copper, you got to scoot over. All right, ostrich food coming up and then the oatmeal. I got it. Don't worry. Pablo, can you believe all these crazy goats over there and everything going all crazy, pig squealing? I'm glad that you're a good boy. Ow! I'm glad that you're a good boy, Pop. I'm glad that you're a good boy, Pablo. You never do anything wrong. You're always so gentle. And you're always so sweet. You're always so sweet, Pablo. Ow, Pablo. Let me love you. Let me love you, Pablo. Don't be doing that. I'm just... You will get used to used to me petting you. Whether you like it or not, Pablo, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop, Pablo. No matter what, I will not... Ow, 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 ow. Okay, good boy. Good boy, Pablo. <laughs> you're so mean. Why are you so mean to me? Quit it. Ha, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Ow, Pablo. I got you. I got you. Okay, I'm done picking on you. I'm sorry. All right, I got the ostriches fed. The only problem is Lenny come over here. So I left a tiny bit in the bucket just for Lenny. Okay, I'm getting the oatmeal, guys. Just give me a minute. This girl is in time out again i'm not sure if this is huck or shirley i don't know i don't know it doesn't matter but every day this goat is getting on my nerves for real i'm so sick of it ripping the bucket out of my hand it, it's the only goat around here that causes chaos it used to be brady it used to be lenny now lenny's still messing around with stuff but he's calmed down brady's off eating so i'm not worried about that but this goat right here oh you're getting on my nerves i'm not even joking I've already, I've cussed her. I've said all kind of bad things about her. Or him. Whatever one it is. But, golly. Talk about relentless. Just does not stop no matter what. So the only way to get these ostriches any peace at all is to lock her up in this little cage. And that's where she's going to stay until these ostriches are done eating. And I'll let her out again. She nibbles on some food and then she decides that she's going to go wreak havoc. She'll start... Look what she did to Tim. Look what I saw that she did to Tim. I don't, I mean, it's not bad. It's not, hello, Cornholio. It's not necessarily bad, but it's not good. She rammed Tim so hard right here. Oh, sorry, Timmy. Sorry, Timmy, it's okay. She rammed him so hard right there, she cut him open a little bit. And now this little guy, look, he's crying. He was crying. That's how bad it hurt him, he was crying. Poor baby. You poor baby, Tim. It's all right. I'm going to get you some oatmeal. That'll make you feel much better. All right. I'm getting it now, for real. For real, pigs. I'm getting it. Watch out, Trudy. Watch out, Trudy. Excuse me. Excuse Trudy, don't push the gate back shut. I'm Trudy. Trudy. Don't do that. You know what? I'll just go this way again. I don't know why I forget that the gate... Oh, Trudy, stop doing that. I'm trying to shut the gate. 
All right. Whoa, 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 copper. <laughs> Be nice. I'm getting oatmeal. Just chill. All right, the pigs are nice and happy now. Copper refuses to let anybody get his oatmeal. But everybody has a trough. They're all eating good. Oh, no, someone has abandoned Tiny Tim. Your trough is over here. Poor Tiny Tim. All right, goat, you're lucky for right now. Until Tiny Tim decides he wants to come over. Peggy Pig, you enjoying your oatmeal? And then lastly, we have Mr. Newton. Oh, Mr. Newton. Dang, Newt, you make that oatmeal look delicious. I might go make me some oatmeal today. Probably not. Probably not. Moo, Moo, I just filled up your bucket over there. Can I have this? Moo, can I have... Moo. Moo, I filled up your whole trough. Give me my bucket back. Give me my... Give me my bucket. Give me my bucket. Go. No, Moo. Go eat your food. Moo, this is mine. This is mine. Go eat yours in your bucket. Go to your bucket. Go to your bucket, Moo. Moo, go to your bucket. Go to your bucket. Moo, Moo, go to your bucket. Moo, get off of there. Moo. Stop it. Moo, Moo, no, Moo. Dang it, Moo. Why do you always do this sort of thing? Go away. Go to your bucket. I was going to give you and Tex a head start. And you're causing trouble for me. There you go, Tex. Good boy for eating in your trough like you're supposed to. I don't know what's gotten into Moo. I literally walked over here. And I filled up his trough. So him and Tex could have a head start before I let all the other bigs in. And he decides he's just going to go over to my four-wheeler and knock it off and eat it off the ground. Maybe Moo is meant to eat off the ground. Maybe I should just start feeding them on the ground. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that to Moose. Okay, Moo, seriously. Moo, don't do that one. That one's full. This one's full, Moo. Okay, go away. I'm going to the other troughs. Go to your trough. Go to your trough. Stop it. Watch out. Watch out. Don't let me run you over. All right, thank you. Golly, Moosef. There's some food over there, you little rascal. There's some food over there, you little rascal. Hey, good boy, Pablo. You didn't attack. All right, you see there's no ducks. And watch how fast these guys will appear. Watch this. By the time I turn around, boom, there's just ducks everywhere. Where do they even come from? Where do these ducks even come from? Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, here comes more. Hey, Howard. Get your spot in line, Howard. Where's Pablo? How come Pablo never comes and eats with anybody? Oh my gosh, I left the water hose on. That's going to be a problem. Lester's going to come home singing. I have anxiety. And you're not making it better. All right, there. Anxiety gone. No more anxiety. I made it a little bit better. Good job, ducks. Even Maggie loves the oatmeal. How is it, Maggie? That's some good stuff. Yeah, if you'll just clean up that bucket for me, that'd be wonderful. I left a little bit of food in this one. And we have this turkey. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. You can go ahead and finish out those crumbs I got in there. Go ahead. I'll leave you alone. All right, chickens and ducks. Y'all ready? Let's do this. This is frustrating. This is so frustrating. You guys ever have them days where things just don't go right? They start off so good. And then they just stop going right and they just go really bad. Here's that full bucket of food. <laughs> Y'all want to know where the rest of it is? It's right there. It's down there. Now I got to go get a whole nother bucket. All because of you, Moo. It wasn't your fault that I hit the brakes too fast and the food flew over, but I'm still blaming you. Because you started all this. 
I gotta finish my chores. The wind's blowing a thousand miles an hour. Looks like we got some rain coming in and I don't wanna be out here in the rain. We got a live in an hour. Moo, just help me with one thing before we go. Can you just look at me? Can you just look at me and say one thing, Moo? Say, bye guy. Moo, we were almost done. We had three words to say. Okay, here we go. Bye guys, now you say it. Have a great day. Good boy, Moo. You did, you, Moo, you knocked me over. What the heck, dude? That's not cool, Moo. Not cool. Bye guys, have a great day. I just gotta get out of here before things go even worse. Moo, you're stepping, ew, Moo, you're spitting stuff on me. Okay, bye guys, have a great day. I'm over it, I'm over this. Like and subscribe.